What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another rap rant. All right, so um, I just wanted to do a quick recap of the fight. Um, it was really good. It was really good. Uh, damn, I wanted to I wanted to watch that fight all night, yo. I, I'm so serious. Like, I don't care if they would have fought to the 15th round, to the 20th round. I would have watched all of it. It was phenomenal. It was great. A lot of action packed. Uh, back and forth um, I was very shocked that um, that the, the cards were that wide uh, I, I had it so, kind of like for Loma but it, the thing is I don't really do too many draws so if I was to watch it back I probably would have uh, squirted a draw um, in the beginning I didn't see Lopez doing that much stuff that uh, got him so many rounds that people gave him in the in the first couple because like some people had a landslide like you know I, I i think that's a little over the top i would say from the first six i would say he probably got three or four you know which i think is fair and then at the end you know it, it, if i relook at the 12th round i would i kind of would agree with what for what everybody's saying um I think I got kind of like thrown off when uh, the blood happened, and then um, I don't know. I saw I saw great activity from Loma at the end, but it wasn't enough. And if it's not a knockdown and he's on his way back, then that you know, the the narrative is gonna be different. But with that being said, uh, Lopez definitely deserves the W. Uh, on anyone's card, even if you don't have him, you know, winning you still have it like favored for Loma just by squeaking him by not even um you know a 8-4 or anything drastic or, or 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 like definitive you know uh it, it wasn't anything like that when it came to Loma and if he won you feel me like uh no nah, it wasn't it wasn't uh it wasn't that great for for Loma. It wasn't a great night for Loma. Now, I agreed with some of the commentary, uh, but there was times that I felt like uh, Lopez looked flat-footed. Now, this was one of the first few fights that I've seen from Lopez, so I feel like my eyes were fresh for him. You feel me? Um, and 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 I wasn't really uh, that much of a fan of the flat-footed style that he brought every now and then because he would he would launch. And then he would show speed and then he would show strength but then he would also stay in and i was like yo this guy's a little crazy because you know loma can pop and once he starts to go he goes um and loma just started too late and uh the, the eighth round it was like loma was turning to super scene it was in, unbelievable this is why i think this should be a rematch but we'll 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 go back to that and after I'm done with what what how how I saw the fight and um anyway like it was electric man once it was the sixth seventh round it was electric uh now the body punches uh I agree with Timothy Bradley they they did uh hinder uh uh Loma because the thing is you know being that Lopez is the bigger guy he's gonna want to dominate in any way and he didn't try to do that he just basically tried to stay smart try to wear and you know bring wear on uh loma by just hitting wherever he could find angles and he did uh i think around the sixth or seventh round loma started to read some of his angles and what where he was punching from and that's when he stopped going backwards like if you look at loma he was like a little machine in there in the first couple rounds but he wasn't throwing any punches um and i don't think that was a mistake um uh, to be to to be clear or to be honest because i i feel like because you know i missed most of the ninth round but the majority of the fight I, I watched all of it and um i'm pretty sure that the ninth round was explosive for loma everybody told me that loma won the ninth round um and i feel like that's where he had him so i was like so angry i could not watch that ninth round and i'm gonna watch it back but being that that was happening in the ninth round that he was figuring him out um all that stuff that he was doing, uh, whether it, uh, Lopez was hitting him to the body or he was, you know, a little too flat-footed, uh, that was working against Lopez, and Loma had him, 
but he just couldn't kick it up another gear. Like, there was one more gear that Loma had to go. And he had him. Because I saw Lopez's eyes change. I saw his face change. He His confidence was kind of, like, going away a little bit. And you're like, whoa. So I'm here thinking, like, oh, snap. So Loma maybe got him. But it was very, like, uh, um, it was a, it was a pin point moment where it's like make a break um and being that he couldn't turn it around and he couldn't hurt him it was hard plus lopez was still landing it was still landing and when you got a guy doing all that he's landing he's looking impressive he doesn't look like he's being hurt now he, he had some stuff on his face but if you look at after the fight too loma had stuff on his face too so um pretty crazy damn good fight damn good fight man i could have watched those guys fight all day long and night i want the rematch um the question is right now where do you have lopez you know in your top 10 top 15 top 20 top 5 i got him in my top 5 um i know i don't know lopez's resume like that but when you take so many belts in one fight you you catapult and an another thing is um being that this year there's not so many fights you got canelo on ice uh you know and all these other guys that uh have done things like this but now they're not fighting you know it's just natural for lopez to jump up and you know later on somebody will catch him but i don't think he's above crawford or inui or or canelo or any of those guys um being that those guys have been so consistent especially canelo like um so basically to me what lopez did tonight was very much like a canelo win where his resume just you know is like like 10 times goes up five times 10 times higher and um you know and that's when he gets put into these categories and things like that where it's just different for him but the way that he ended the fight was very convincing um I thought Loma had another gear left in him. But you live to fight another day. And uh, I will say that I think, you know, uh, the no audience, the the whole thing going on with the virus and stuff, I think that did affect Loma. But that doesn't mean that he shouldn't have won this fight. Everybody's going to say that. Everybody's going to say that. And sometimes it's a lame excuse, but I'm going to bring it up because Loma's a champ. Um, is he out of his prime? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible because of so many fights, you know. It's just different. You keep getting hit, um, and 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 things change. But you know, Lopez was a little big for him. Uh, what are we going to see next? Is it going to be Gervonta Davis? Is it going to be? Who knows what what we're going to see for Loma next? But I want the rematch. I think that the rematch should happen. Um, another thing I want to point out is that um, Loma looked like he did not give a shit at the end. He's like, meh. Whatever. Crazy. Um, he showed the Matrix. It came out, but it wasn't for that long. Um, and I'm pretty sure that that was a very difficult task for him. But the fact that they were talking so much crap it makes me feel like there should be a rematch and that this, their skills need to be displayed again. Not because of uh, the weight differences or all these discrepancies with, you know, all these, you know, things between each other with the fathers and whatnot. I just feel like they, 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 they displayed an, an amazing array of, of, of talent. I haven't seen it in a while like that. It was just toe to toe, and these guys didn't get dropped. They didn't get hurt. They show almost no weakness. Like, I don't see Loma taking a big L here. Like, yeah, of course he lost all his belts. It is a big L, but when it comes to skill and talent, mm -mm. no way, no how. I'm sorry. I saw Loma showing that he can still go. And with that being said, I, I feel like it needs to be seen again. It needs to be. 
That made me feel like they were the new 147. <laughs> Hands down. That was an exciting fight. I wish I would have saw it with an aud- with uh, that there was an audience there, and I wish um, there was more going on, so where me more people were watching. Um, but yeah, Pfft, oh my God, there has to be. A re- I really hope that there's a rematch. Really, really hope so. And they need to do it immediately because this guy's getting too chunky. You know, he's getting strong uh, with with his age and whatnot. You know, you, you gotta capitalize right away because then he's gonna balloon up and then he's gonna go up to 147, 140. Uh, what else? You know, Crawford's been calling him out, talking about him, I guess, or or saying nice things. I'm not sure, but. A lot of people have been talking about uh, Teofimo Lopez. He, he, he doesn't hide. He, he goes to fights. He talks. He's American. This is not like an Andy Ruiz type of win. But I will say the fact that he is Americanized and he is Hispanic and stuff like that, it does kind of have that similar following. But there's a hardcore following as well that, that um, solidifies uh, Lopez. And I think that he deserves a lot of respect for what he's done uh today and like i said i think he deserves the win i had loma winning but i think lopez deserves the win um he looked convincing at the end and shout out to him and his camp shout out to both camps i think they were both incredible fighters and again i think there needs to be a rematch let me know what you guys think who's in your top five now what happens to loma um is loma out of his prime these questions are valid, in my opinion, and they're worth the mention because, you know, that all plays on if uh, if Loma deserves a, a rematch. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm pretty sure there's a rematch clause, maybe. I don't know. But the belts were on the line. That's a lot of fucking things at stake. So, holla at me. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe. Leave your notifications on. We got more to go. Um... Let's try to keep boxing alive. And much respects to you guys. Much love. Much, much respects again. And um, stay in tune. We got more. Peace out.